So when my box came, it was a bit opened. The weather was a bit damp that day, and by jostling it around, the corners did open. In the end, you'll find out that there was no damage done. Once again, the end was opened, and the other end was a little damaged. No big deal. As you can see, everything was packed quite tightly from the top. I chose to open the sides carefully with my fingers and no knife. I like laying everything out in similar pieces. It just makes it easier for me. As you can see, there's two straps holding these pieces together. I did use a scissor from the top, not a knife. I didn't want to wreck anything. Once I got the straps undone, I laid out the product further. Please note the white wrapped glass top in the middle of the right hand of the screen. The tools as well as the hardware were neatly packed and I like to open them up from the top by cutting off the blister packs, flipping it over, and then it makes it easier for everything to be removed. I lined up everything according to the instructions. You can see that the holes were easy to get to. Most of the time, the wicker was out of the way of the hole. Sometimes I needed to push it to the side. As you can see here, I did get the base attached to the back of that chair. In assembling the sides to the back and base, you need to line up those two holes very carefully. I tried to get all the nuts started and move the wicker out of the way so that the washers were not on top of the wicker. There's quite a few screws here. They're a little bit hidden. You need to look for them carefully. You can see that the feet are adjustable on the bottom. They are round, easily turned in and turned out to adjust to your flooring. As you can see here, I removed one so you could see that it was threaded. And there's the chair, fully assembled. The cushions do eventually uh, remove those indentations. They were, it was a very, very cold winter day when I was assembling these. There were a couple pieces of wicker I wanted to point out that were cut by the factory. On the left, you can see the upper and lower piece that were cut. I did eventually tuck it back in. Um, this was a little odd to me, but seems to be okay. The hardware, which they give you no extras of, this is exactly how the hardware came on one of the screws. Quality control could be a little bit better on the hardware. They might actually want to deliver you one extra of each screw just in case there's a factory issue like this. It did go in quite simply. It was just that the threads were missing in that area. Some of the alignments were difficult, so I suggest leaving a lot of the screws loose. As you can see here, this one didn't line up too well. And I did wind up loosening the center where the back meets the base. Uh, the instructions actually say to snug that up. I loosened it up as far as I could, put all the bolts in, and then I slowly tightened up all my bolts. This worked fantastic. Some of the paint was a little bit chipped, I'm not too worried about. This is the chaise, the love seat, uh, excuse me, love seat on its face. You can see all the hardware on the back with its cushion on it. Lining up the coffee table, yeah, as you can see some of the weld area, the paint was a little bit missing. The slots do give you plenty of room to align the screws quite nicely. I suggest putting them all in and then tightening them up. You can see that the glass had corner protectors on them. Remove those corner protectors simply by sliding them off. 
and laying it in top of that table. Once it's completed, you can actually see how it's set up. This is what it looks like for me. Hopefully you'll enjoy it as well.